I got my buff on inside out again. Anyways, I overnight changed my mind yet again. I am gonna go to the state park and pay the twenty dollars. Change his mind? What's this guy talking about? What do you mean change his mind? Well, what happened is I went to the state park the day before and she wanted to charge me $20 to go out to the trailhead, which is just inside the park. Told her no, there was a trail on the other side of the mountain, so I drove back over there, camped, and was going to take that trail. And then all night I was just wondering about the state park. So I changed my mind and decided to pay the $20, go hike it from the state park, which was well worth it. Highly recommend it. Back to your regular schedule program now. Because I want to see, or try to see, the Begging Burrows. Basically, they're a bunch of donkeys that have gone wild, or feral, or whatever the word is. They were, I believe, used during the gold rush of uh, South Dakota, and then they were just let loose. And they're in the state park. I measured everything because she told me I couldn't get underneath the tunnel, but I've measured everything in a the only thing that may be an issue is my Wi-Fi booster antenna and that with four bolts I can take off. I'm on Needles Highway where the tunnels are supposed to be and I haven't seen any signs about the tunnel. Oh, tunnel clearance with eight, nine, height nine feet, eight inches. So I'm good for this. I stop talking and get my eyes back on the road because the, the views are beautiful. Oh, get bumpy. Here's the road we're going out, the switchbacks. Up this way, turn around and go back up that way, and then turn again and go up at the top. <laughs> nice. Here we go, hood tunnel. I think we got it. I think we got it. Straight. And no one's at the gate. Please. Pay. Oh, you can pay here. Okay. Press the green button. Seven day vehicle. Oops, what is this? Enter license. Easy as that. Well worth 20 bucks. Easy. Um... Yeah, right there in the, in the trailhead. <laughs> Previous, so if any of my cheapness made the video up to this point, <laughs> sometimes it's worth spending money on things. God, this place is beautiful and I haven't even left the trailhead yet. I don't even know which way to go yet because I'm more focused on the view. So we are here. So I think what the plan is going to be is to go up trail four, hit Little Devil's Tower, Cathedral Spires, and then go up to Black Elk. I thought you could do this as a loop. Oh, I guess got to wipe the moisture off the sign. So then when we come back down, we'll do trail nine. And then we'll go by Little, Little Devil's Tower. And then come back to where we are. My goal on this trip, see one of them guys sooner or later. I miss, I miss them every time I've come out here. Came back. Oh, he saw me. I don't know which way I want to go. I think I'll run. Oh, there's a buddy over there. That's Okay, here we go. We're on trail number four, heading up to Black Elk Peak, also known as Harl Harney Peak. I don't know which is the current name. 
It is the highest point in South Dakota. And we're leaving from the state park. If you hadn't figured that out, I guess. <laughs> um, and what are they saying? They're saying that it is, uh, let me zoom in, 7,242 feet. So this will be the second highest peak I've hiked. Of course, the highest being Mount Baker, which is 11,000-ish. And it is like, I read down there, it says it is the highest peak east of the Mississippi, ah, excuse me, the Rockies, not Mississippi. Oops, a lot of more deer. So that's either could be five or could be three. And I saw the same two, same two twice. But I'll tell you, it's starting off good. Maybe I'm gonna see my goat today in my begging burrows. stuff to look at and we're not even like 0.2 in. Wow, this is going to be my slowest hike ever. This is awesome. This new landscape just does it for me, especially when it's rocks. It's amazing. I like rocks because that's what my head's made out of. bit off the trail. And that must be the needle right there. Whew. End of trail. See the needle? I'm not sure. Can't make out the needle hole, anyways. It's right up there. Oh my god, this is awesome. Oh, there's a plaque here. Cutler State Park Trail Challenge. Near this sign is one of the medallions for the CSP Trail Challenge. One of the challenges, the challenge runs from Memorial Day to Labor Day and features different series of trails each year. You can complete all of the trails, collect rubber, rub, rubbings of the medallion located on each trail, turn in official form. Oh, so, oh, there's the medallion right there. Look at that, that's cool. So you put paper over it and do a rubbing. Prove you were here. Oh my. There's the summit, Black Elk Peak. I see the fire tower. So here we are at Little Devil's Tower. Awesome. My $20 is Getting it's my, I'm getting my money's worth out of 20 bucks. Yeah, I know I'm cheap, bitching about 20 bucks. Look at that. Oh my. Oh, there's the mountain. So basically, I was over there looking at this. Now I'm over here looking back. Right there, the spires are there, and I believe that's Devil's. Right there, and goes up on that, and then you come down through. I don't know, is it a coal valley? I don't know. Oh, 
Holy. You go up the stairs, the metal stairs. Keep going. down. Go check that out. Maybe I'll can go out a different way. Wow, hard to see out the windows. Pretty. <laughs> Here we are. Black Elk Peak at 72.42, South Dakota's highest peak and the highest peak east of the Rockies. So this is the highest hike, like I said, second highest hike I've done since Baker. And Renee will of course beat that out, but if we make it, I shouldn't say that, we're gonna attempt bake, uh, Baker, Rainier. So beautiful views though up here, the Black Mountains. This is definitely a hike and what did it turn out? Even with those little turnoffs, 1,765 feet of elevation gain and 5.73 miles. And I think it's less down. So it's gonna be like maybe 11 mile hike, and not even white mountain elevation. And it was all gradual because of the horse trails. Anyways, let's go check out where those other set of stairs go. I think they go out another door. Let's go explore. Oh my word, it's a, like a basement. Somebody tried to have a fire. Why don't they let people, probably because they ruin it. But who's gonna come up here and kick you out? <laughs> Locked. Oh my, more, more stairs. Actually, a trail. I don't know where that came. Maybe from the back door. It goes down. This must have been the water source. Oh, another building. Must have had a barrel or something right there. I mean, this was like a pump house. How deep is that? Oh, nice. Find out the cold way. I wonder if they pumped water up Ooh. and put it in here. Because the pipe, unless the pipe went down in there, but it's not very deep. Huh. Cool. Love stuff like this. It's cool. Oh, there's a dam over there, too. So they, this is not natural water. Awesome. Okay. We got ah. That's the tricky part. You don't want to fall on that barrel thing. Maybe I should go down that way. <laughs> okay. Let's do some more exploring. I feel like there's more stuff to find. There it is. Dammed up over there. This is the dam. Wow. Good 
idea though to keep water up here. Trail doesn't have as many views because we're not going up high. Parking lot, already back. Oh, there we are, back, back on the road. We're gonna head over the highway that she said I can't go. I did take my antenna off. That trail, what was it, number nine on the way down, was a madhouse. There were groups of like 20 or 30 coming up, multiple groups. I, there was no views on it except for a couple of spots. And the only reason I can think of they're going that way is because it is an easy trail. It's actually, it seemed like it was harder on the way back than it would have been on the way up. So, and the, the, one of the viewpoints, is like two viewpoints on the, on the trail, ha, must have had 50 people on it. I just kept going. I was like, geez, some crow. Okay, tunnel clearance. I think we're going left here. Yeah, because I came in that way. And, uh, but yeah, definitely, if you're gonna do this mountain, go up, I think it was four, uh, but you know, Devil's Tower and the Cathedral Spirals because the views are just phenomenal the whole way. And this, that summit was cool. I highly recommend this hike. This is, this is probably on the top of one of my favorite hikes. It, it probably is my favorite hike right now. I'm gonna pull in over here. Uh, and, and the thing is, is I going up with sweatshirts on and jeans and no water and I, I don't know where they're going. I shouldn't judge, but I just, they, I think they were told that that was an easy trail and they're going to go to the summit and hey man, I mean, I guess you could do it, but well, again, I'm not going to judge. Um, let's see if I can get my stats though. How do I do that? How do I do that? Cause it was under 10 miles. last four hours I don't I don't know how to get the work out until it comes up on Strava so but it was under 10 miles I did some more elevation on the way back so it was over 2,000 feet of elevation gain the whole loop and but it was it was an easy hike I mean if you took your time and went I run when I especially on down the hill I I, I try to get my pulse of like 180 and keep it there the whole way down which is tough sometimes because especially if it's hot today well getting hotter so anyways, let me get the GoPro going. I wanna, I wanna get some of these tunnels and maybe there won't be a lot of traffic and I'm gonna find these damn begging burrows. I wanna see one of them. It's bad. That's like my next to do on my wanted life, life goals. That's what it was. More about the quest to find the begging burrows next week in Custard State Park. I do a little loop on the wildlife loop and go into some other tunnels and do find some wildlife. Anyways, see y'all out there and catch you later. I'm just gonna drive, drive, drive.